everyone welcome to this episode of indie showcase today we are playing humblewood uh i am so 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 heck excited to be here with this crew today to do fun burb times only one of us is a burb we like we definitely skirted the lines of like <laughs> you know some burbs some animal just general fun good heckin times heckin excited to be here with these folks before we go around and say hi hello to everyone uh and this lovely heckin crew i'm going to uh say of course thanks to roll 20 we are playing on roll 20 today we are using this is the official humblewood uh campaign stuff although we are doing a special non-campaign adventure um a special little one shot for you today for funsies uh and today as we are doing every day we are uh raising funds for code 2040 which if you don't know uh roll 20 is always kind of fundraising for for code 2040 which is working to uh improve equality in the tech sector for black and uh bimpoc folk um and just generally improve stuff because it's not it's not it's not good enough just straight just straight up it's not good enough so uh the there's still work to be done and roll 20 is matching donations at any point in time you can donate to code 2040 and roll 20 will match your donations um so that is something i will remind every week um, but that being said, thank you all so much for being here. My name is Jess. I get to produce this awesome show showcasing indie games uh, with a different cast every week alongside my wonderful, my wonderful co-producer, B Zelda. And um, yeah, today I am playing Ayla, which, you know, I might be completely, completely on my I'm not allowed to swear. So just as a reminder, we're not allowed to swear. <laughs> <laughs> this is a PG-13 show. We get one swear all episode. So where's the, where's the beep button? Can I have a beep button? Do we, do we all get those? Those are amazing. If you warn one me. Swear <laughs> each or has. I think it's one per episode. I think it's. Right. We have to decide I want to. where we use it. <laughs> I, just want, I don't it. care. I just want the beep. I want you to beep me out so it sounds like I'm saying something awful. Okay. Start to say something, but give a clear indication you're about to swear. Okay, I will. Not right now, though. I okay, have to think about I'll it. try. <laughs> Anyways, we're playing a very wholesome game today. <laughs> a very good and wholesome game with this cast. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Ayla. I am playing a uh, a servant, which is basically a deer folk in this game. Uh, I am for the first time ever playing a bard, a College of the Road bard, which is special to Humblewood. It's a very cool class. Um, and uh, I am, in fact, a large honking deer who believes they are wind touched and blessed. So that's me. Let's go around and say hi to the rest of the folks. Please tell us who you are, uh, what you're doing for us today, starting with Jordan. Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, I'm at Made of Cartoons on Twitter, and I am the person wearing like a dozen hats at Hit Point Press, uh, and so which is the company that made Humblewood. Um, thanks for everyone for tuning in to take a look. Um, it's been a while actually since I've done any Humblewood stuff because I've been so focused on Hecna, which is our scary clown campaign. Um, uh, never thought I would be involved with something like that, but I am. Uh, so I'm very excited. I put together a little bit of a just something goofy for for goofy people uh, to kind of goof around with. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, it takes place after the story in the book uh, when the heroes of Humblewood have sort of saved folks. Uh, and then there's you four, which uh, are nobody in particular and are having to pick up the dregs of the work that the heroes of Humble work or Humblewood are leaving for you. So that's what you got. Awesome. Did I say everything I should? He, I'm he, him. I'm. Oh gosh. I said yes. that already. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. And I actually thank you for that because um yes, my name is just my pronouns are she and they, but uh Ayla's pronouns are she and her. Um so thank you for that reminder. That's very helpful. Next up is Brian. Um hi Brian. Uh my pronouns are he him. I am playing uh Nico who is a staple Luma sorcerer. His pronouns are also he him. Uh he is wind touched, but it feel it felt more like an accident of fate. So he's not really sure uh, how much he accepts it, but he leans into it because sometimes it can open doors and people seem impressed by it. 
Nice. And you're a you're playing a Luma, which is sort of the pigeon race, but you chose like kind of a cool spe a specific bird, right, Brian? I did. Um, Nico is actually based off of a Nico bar pigeon because I went out and found the the like gayest rainbowest looking one I could. Their plumage is amazing. It starts out gray and then can go into a metallic green, metallic copper. They've got like rainbow plumage. Sometimes they have a little red spot. It's I was like, this is perfect. But then also playing the par the sable who is like, don't perceive me, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm fabulous, but don't look at me. <laughs> Love it. Perfect. Amazing. Next up is Sam. Hi, I'm Sam. Um, I use they or she. And I bring to you today a vulpin, a fox creature uh, that I named Melancholy Glass because no one was around to stop me. But we could probably just call them Glass. That seems short, sweet to the point. They're uh, a rogue, but with the scout subclass, which I believe is a humble wood spe special. I don't think the scout one is, but is it is it very not? appropriate for it. No, yeah. it is very appropriate. I did choose the bandit defector background. We used to be a bandit, and now we're not a bandit anymore. Totally We've not a bandit anymore. Totally. Uh, Definitely not. No longer no. any kind of bandit. I didn't take the Humblewood feat opportunistic, opportunistic thief because, no, of course not. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Glass is great. Yes. We're all going to love it. Perfect. Amazing. <laughs> and last but certainly not least is the wonderful, amazing Kelly. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm, I'm willing to bet that... Um, chat will probably know which race I am playing from Humblewood. I in fact have props. We have the non-action prop and then we have the action prop for fights. It's very important. <laughs> this is <laughs> specifically for fight sequences. Uh, I wish I had a zoom in cam now. Um, so yes, I am playing a hedgehog. Uh, my hedgehog's name is Regina. Um, or Reg or Reggie. She has a fondness for, for hard boiled silkworm eggs, mostly because it grows to Brian out. I'm just a little kid. <laughs> um, and um, she is, wait for it, a paladin. I promise I will not massacre entire groups of travelers along the road today. Again. The music timing was I'm very perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out very well. Oh my goodness. Um, and so Re Reg <laughs> Reg's pronouns are she, her, but she'll answer to anything if you have food. Good. Hey. Good to know. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Perfect. This is amazing. And on that note, I'm going to transition us over to our Humblewood map. Magic, we're there. We did it. Good job, everyone. Look at that. <laughs> All, All right. right. How are you feeling, Jordan? Oh, just great. Just great. My hands are freezing, but I know that everyone in the world is now experiencing real cold for the first time. Uh, and so I'm trying to be tough as a Canadian and not complain about how cold my hands are. Uh, because I know Texas is frozen over, so I uh, just trying to be nice, you know? So my hands are warm, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, all right, uh, um, we're going to start some games, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play a little game in Humblewood. Um, uh, it's a campaign setting that is uh, handcrafted from the ground up to be about little birdies and little animalies that all hang out together and uh, stab each other sometimes, but, you know, it's all part of D&D. Our story is, so the, the campaign in the book uh, takes you through this adventure where you are um, saving the humble wood, which is this um, patch of woodland that, um, uh, you know, has a, uh, a uh, m massive elder tree that is sort of uh, called Alderheart, which is a home, which is the home to a lot of the bird folk. Um, I'll move you over to, uh, I'll move you over to the map of Humblewood here so you can all take a see, take a peek. I've only highlighted the important stuff, uh, really. But in the middle here is Alderheart, the big um, uh, elder tree that uh, is massive. It's like a continent almost unto itself. Um, and so the story in the Humblewood involves uh, valiant heroes saving uh, Humblewood from this fire elemental uh, that 
has dug its way out of the scorched grove. Uh, but we're not telling the tales of a valiant uh, group of valiant heroes today. Uh, we're telling the tale of some scrappy uh, underdogs. Um, the heroes of Humblewood have taken all the good jobs. Um, the the uh, the council of the bird folk has basically given them every sweet gig uh, since they saved the city, and now that's left you know the common heroes, the average. Uh, Jane's Joe's and otherwise, um, to kind of just pick up the gigs wherever they can get. Um, fetch quest after fetch quest um, has been coming your way. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Craigslist of heroes, that's where you're looking, um, which is what's led you to the winnowing, to winnowing reach, which is best known for its slime farming um, uh, from the local swamps. Uh, so You've had to travel. Uh, this is how far you've had to travel in order to get uh, get a gig of any kind. And um, it, there's just one flimsy piece of paper on the notice board uh, that is just says uh, "High Speed Adventure Awaits." Uh, see Wallace uh, in in uh, and there's like a little address. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna zoom in on uh, Winnowing Reach here because there is an excellent map of it uh, available in the Humblewood box set now. Uh, um, so this is Winnering Reach. Uh, it's a quaint little town. Uh, it has a few different uh, different places to shop and that kind of thing. Um, the guy that is in charge uh, is a Walden Crane is a jerk. Uh, that he's From all the stories I've heard from people's campaigns, they have tried to hang him out to dry as much as possible. I didn't know we wrote such a jerk into the story, but anyway, we're not talking about Walden Crane. We're going to skip over that jerk. Um, you're going to head to Wallace. He's a servant, a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, not, not a hermit, but people find him kind of strange. Um, everyone you ask about where he is kind of like just tries to get you out of their way and heading his way as quickly as possible. Uh, no one wants to give you any details about him. Um, so he lives just in the back here, uh, uh, sort of in these hobby holes um, amongst uh, amongst sort of the outskirts of Wittering Reach. Um, so you stand in front of this, um, you stand, you're standing in front of this uh, uh, sort of hobbit door, and um, oh, I had better music than, I mean, this music's good, but I have Wilbur music here. Excuse me, what's wrong with fluffing the duck? I mean... I, I just, you know, is there a way strong. we can turn down the music just a little bit because it's a little, a little, a little loud. Lot for I've got oh. it pretty turned down on my end. So uh, yeah, let me, let me. So I'm actually gonna pull it up on screen. If either of you have the uh, roll twenty up, you'll be able to see. But also, just oh, on your I, roll twenty, mm -hmm, you have yeah. a personal volume. So over yeah. all the way to the right at the top, there's a little cog right underneath your display name, master music volume. That one is just for you. So you can turn it as low or as high as you want. I would think that I would know that. But it's all good. No, that's fantastic. Thank you. We are sharing the info with everyone. Now all there there's at least several people in chat right now who are like, oh dang, and learned a new thing. That's what they come here for. Yep. Learning. Uh, okay. Um so I'm gonna also show you a picture of uh Wallace. It's one of my favorite pictures from from the game. Need to find him. There we go. So it should pop up on all your screens. Here's Wallace. He's loose. So what greets? Yeah, Wallace is the best. Uh, servants are generally represent like we think of them as deer. Like that most people think of them as deer, but you can play any kind of like hooved uh, um, antlered creature, uh, and of course. Uh, we, as a Canadian company, we had to make sure we got a moose in there. Um, and so when you knock on the door and the door swings open, there's this moose who has to duck down just to get his head into the, you don't even know how he lives inside of the, uh, uh, the space. Uh, and he says, oh, uh, you, you coming by from, uh, did you see my Addy? Oh, no one's come by for the ad yet. Oh, come in, come in and put a pot on. And he like stands out of the way. Inside is a little bigger and there's room. He still has to kind of cock his head 
to make sure that his antlers aren't dragging around. Of course, it's a Canadian moose. Eh? Yeah, of course. I I had this to say because I wanted to squeal. <laughs> like, <gasps> I love him. <laughs> I'm fine just if we just there, if we, we can take a complete departure now and just have this all be all about this moose character. That's amazing. I mean, that's generally <laughs> honestly um, role playing a uh, Canadian moose for two hours is pretty much a dream for me. So, um, actually, I have a question about other people's characters' sizes. Hmm. Because I am small. Mm -hmm. We want to do like in real life. Do we want to do just a quick description of what we what you look like um, as we enter? <laughs> yeah. What. As the moose in the situation, I'd like to know who I'm looking at, you know? Eh? So uh, we'll start with Jess. All right. Or Ayala. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Ayala. Like, if you forget, then you can be like, hey, Ella, like that, basically. So um, Ayala is a servant, but a grove servant. So not like big, no big antlers, nothing like that. But it's still probably, I'm going to guess, the tallest one here. Uh, I think the servant generally around like seven feet ish. I think they're 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 pushed the they push into the six and a half to seven feet. Yeah. For sure. So on the smaller side, of very very tall, um, but is is very slender. Is very wearing very like light, uh, mostly fairly light garments. Um, but uh, across uh, her large form is like a number of musical instruments, just like every wind in uh, instrument imaginable is um, coated in, like is covered in clothes that are very light and airy with a lot of like, almost like ribbons and draping things, almost if, as if to make a show and definitely like moves in kind of like a wavy, like in this long limbering, kind of movements um and so yeah she'll definitely enter and be like oh thank you so much all right this is oh so nice thank you for having us this looks great yes we we have we have come to uh to see what oh me and, and these are these are all my friends i'm oh i'm ayella it's nice to see you it's nice to meet you too eh um uh so can i get it brian we can go to brian in the order that i've got on here do you want to give a quick description of nico um, sure, Nico. Uh, Nico is um, small, three about about three feet tall. Uh, apparently, the the only the only uh, burb here, um, and resembles resembles a pigeon. Just um, his plumage, what you can see um, from head and neck, is sort of is sort of grayish. Uh, he is wearing he's wearing a traveling cloak that covers a bit, um, but you can see you can see like glints of brighter metal like brighter colors sort of underneath um but he'll keep shuffling his cloak to kind of hide that and uh he is um friendly suspicious um and uh and simply says yes i, I i'm nico i understand that we, we we have a we're here to perhaps help oh i've got a real work. fun job for you eh? i got a real fun job just come on in uh, plant your butt somewhere and, uh, and uh, yeah we'll, let's meet your other friends um Reggie Reg Regina so you hear a um, <clears throat> a rather um, a discordant clanking noise um, from outside and waddling through the door is is this three and a half foot tall very round ball in chain mail and you're it, it's in, it's indeterminate at the moment because the visor has fallen down over their face and so she's doing this and she's trying to push the visor up and carry her sword and look very very important she's very small she is she is brown and um, like dark brown spikes with kind of a light face and black nose yes and her visor keeps falling down and Push up and then oh, I almost didn't see you there, eh? Uh, yeah, you're a little underfoot. Um, well, no, no, come in, come I mean, in. I mean, that, that's a little rude. I don't think. I'm... No, I just glad I didn't step on you, is all. What? Well, this why, has become awkward. I, I really hope that you just come in and have a seat, eh? But, it would be really great. <laughs> I, 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 I meant no, I meant no me? harm. I, don't... I have a stool for you to sit on. It's, it's, it's a hedge stool. Please. 
I'm so Reggie, sorry. Eh? Reggie I'm looks, so sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Just please. Reggie I'm is like holding the visor up with one paw and she's looking at you suspiciously as she walks over to the stool and like digs her sword into the other side of it to like heft herself up onto the stool because she is she is in heavy armor. <laughs> she's three and a half feet tall. Wallace lets out a uh, as he looks up at gl- at at uh, glass or a vulpin. Yes. Did, I, did I really bungle that one up, eh? I did, I did, didn't I? Oh. Uh, gosh. Yeah, Glass is just your normal, average fox person. Um, you know, reddish-brown. Nose. Pointy teeth. Claws. Uh, big, big eyes. All better to see you with. You really lean into the stereotypes, eh? Okay, that's fair. I would like to point out you are currently playing a Canadian move. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so I was about to congratulate her, that's all, eh? All right. <laughs> uh, this is exactly the kind of group I was expecting, but which is good. A, a variety. Uh, you know, the task ahead may uh, involve, uh, you know, some quick thinking, eh? So uh, I'm glad that, uh, uh, you know, I'm glad to see... Uh, the diversity that the Humblewoods got to offer. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, does anyone want a cuppa? No takers? Uh, oh, what What do you have? Uh, I got root tea. Mm-hmm. Give me anything That's a little it. lighter, a little more airy. I could put less root in it. I'll take that. All right. Do you have anything more alcoholic? <laughs> Not on the job. Well, I suppose actually. you haven't taken the job yet, it to be honest. It makes the job easier. Okay. So, the cramped Ooh. interior of this place has basically, like, a bunch of hoofs, like, pillows of different sizes that fit different groups of people. Looks like Wallace at, at least has the aspir- aspirations to entertain uh, a fair amount. Um, there's some, there is one big kind of heavy leather chair that will kind of uh, that is obviously for him that will hold uh, hold his bit of a he's a bulky lad and so um, you find uh, yourselves all kind of like scrunched around it's sort of um, there. there's a hearth behind the chair but then there's also this kind of warm kind of fire pit like in, in the middle of the place um, well it's it's like you know in, ca- in case in, in iron and things um, and there's it looks like it's meant for putting drinks on so that keeps them warm and, and that kind of stuff um, Wallace comes back and he puts down a little tray and it's got a bunch of uh, um, a little tea in it. One of them is a little more watery than the rest, so that one goes over to Ayala. Ayala and, and of course, he's like, oh, you know, it's... Uh, it, I was really worried. Uh, you know, I didn't put a lot of description A on the on the note, on the the note nose board, and I was really worried that perhaps, um, you know, uh, it wouldn't be enough information. I, I'd never done this before. We definitely remember exactly what was on the note, but do you want to remind us what was on the note? As soon as you say that, Regina has taken out a hard-boiled egg and is is biting into it. So with the mouth... E-Y-O-E, eh? I, 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 uh... I said it doesn't matter. We have to take it anyway. We have, like, no money and no other jobs. Well, this negotiation is starting off in my favor, eh? <laughs> um... Listen, I, uh, what it was advertised was a fast paced adventure. And, uh, you know, I, um, it, that wasn't a lie. It's going to go, things are going to move very quickly uh, once, once, once it begins. Um, I've recently discovered that uh, a little plot of, uh, of, of, uh, of a mine was left to me by some family members who passed away, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, well, I, I seem to have discovered a new kind of, uh, new kind of mushroom. Uh, very valuable looking. I've asked around, eh? I've asked around to my uh, potion making friends, some of those slime herders, eh? And they've said, um, well, they've said they'd be very interested in getting their hands on these. But it's me, le- it's my old leg, you know. Uh, and he like, he kind of shows that he's got one leg that's got um, some bandages up around it and things like a tensor bandage type thing. And he's like, ah. so uh, I need some folks and strong, you know, humble folk uh, to be able to, uh, you know, get down there eh? and, uh, and uh, you know, scoop up some of those mushrooms. That's, the, that's in a nutshell, eh? That's basically the job. Sounds good? Is there anything else strange about the mine? 
<clears throat> well, uh, a, 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 well, <laughs> I've just thrown the A's like literally every other word now. Um, I, uh, it came equipped with the, with, with, um, uh, the rigging for minecart, see? So, uh, so that's going to be your transportation around. That's where the speed comes in. You're going to get this job lickety uh, done lickety split because of that, eh? Uh, you're going to be zooming around in no time. Uh, uh, the previous owners, I think they were, uh, they were Mopak, which in Humblewood are a little, uh, raccoon, or raccoon folk. Uh, so they, they done a right good tinker on that down there, eh? Uh, they really come up with some, well, I mean, I can actually, I'll be able to talk to you, and he has, like, this, he has, like, this speaking horn beside the, beside the chair that he'll, he, he can talk into. So you'll be able to hear me, and I'll be able to guide you as best. I won't be able to see where you're going, eh? But, uh. Uh, you know, I won't be that much of a help in the end, really. But you'll be able to hear me, and, uh, you know, when you're ready to come back up, I, uh, you know, I'll be there waiting. Got nothing better to do. You freed up my day by doing this, so. So, so I'm willing to pay 200 gold pieces for every mushroom you get. Uh, I don't know if that helps. Should have written that on the poster. <laughs> wow. It, this, I'm new to all this. Uh, Regina pops off her stool and does the over to over to Nico and like pulls on the wing. Yes, Regina. We gotta get a lot of mushrooms. We have to get so many. Yes, I've never Regina. had that much money. Do you know how much food I can buy with that much money, Nico? <laughs> Keep yourself in eggs for a long time. One day you'll you definitely have like to do a good too. job. You will. I'll help. I, I will not. You will. I will not. Uh, Wallace is sipping from a very small little teacup and his ear is like flicking uh, to try and hear what this conversation is. And he says, uh, I could go to 250. Could you do 260? Uh, 270, eh? And that's my last offer. That's a deal. Again, I'm new to this. I've only used eggs list once before. Eggs list. It's a. It's trying to joke. Uh, so. Uh, wait, wait. Is there a whole list of eggs? Uh, I could You'll try. You have to share this with me. I don't. Where did? Where is this list? Uh, we'll talk eggs when the job you, is done. You, you said it. You started this. Yeah, I'll uh, prepare a list for you when you're back. Uh, sorry, what was your name again? Um, I'm, I, and she pulls herself up to the entire height and stands all the way up, which causes the visor to slam down again. It's, my name is Regina. I am a paladin, and I am Nico's best friend. And she's Are just you... staring off in the other direction, like, very proudly. But, uh, friendship only goes in one direction, Mary. Okay, it's what? fine. No, sorry. I sometimes I say the things that I'm thinking right away, eh? and it often gets me in trouble. Uh, sorry. Uh, Regina, I'll list uh, every egg I know if you do this job for me. But I, I'm still gonna get the money too, right? Like yes, the list I figured. Gonna be, okay. I figured you'd want the list of eggs and the money. I, uh, you know. You are very smart. I don't know. Well, well, thank you. That's something I've never heard, eh? So, so, I mean, you're, you're, I mean, I, you're probably the smartest person I've ever met. Oh, well, now I feel bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to make sure you got uh, a list of eggs and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll definitely, you know, count my coffers to make sure I've got your payment ready for when you return. Now for uh, legal purposes, eh, I have to hear you all agree to the job. Okay. For legal purposes. So, what you said so far, I'm gonna try and like say this back to you. Like, it was we go down, and there's carts, and it's gonna be really fast, and we just collect mushrooms, and we're gonna get two two seventy two seventy. Final offer per mushroom. We got that. That's a you know it's fair. You know it's a little. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Look at glass, like nodding, like right. Yeah, you drive a hard bargain, but that's great. Um, do the carts come back up? 
Oh, they kind of, they're a bit of a, they sort of go around in a, a circle, eh? Like, it's a loop. So, uh, you know, once you head down, I'll, when, you, when you're when you done, when you think you've gotten enough, I mean, you've had enough, eh? You come back and I'll, uh, I'll, throw the, I'll throw the rope ladder down and get you out of there. Okay, so it's like a fast drop and then a slow climb. Uh, We're trying to figure out the impetus for the carts to come back up. That well, the, word. That was a word I should not have used because she oh, has I, uh, of intelligence. The, Heard the, it the, once, it's stuck. That's it. That's all that's the, in there. Just impetus bouncing one, around. That's the one she knows. The one. Uh, you are, you're concerned about the um, uh, you're, you're about momentum and physics, eh? About the, about the, about the carts returning. Uh, yeah, no. They they operate under their own power. Those clever Mopox got it figured out. Oot. Uh, <laughs> How dare so, you. Uh, no, they, these these suckers, they power themselves. Uh, yeah, no, they, they travel along. Uh, they even got some acceleration, and I think even one of them's got a brakes on it there. So, um, mm. you know. Mm, yeah. Can we have that one, please? We won't need brakes, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, we are we are very, we are we are very brave adventure. We don't need brakes. Okay. Apparently where we're going, we don't need brakes. Nope. So if I could uh, get a legally binding, you know, a, a sort of legally binding, a thumbs up from all of you, uh, it would be really great. I don't, like, holds up hooves. Do I have thumbs? Yeah. Do we have? You're, you're anthropomorphic. You're not. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was not clear yeah. on that point. We, uh, so <laughs> I guess the birds, the, the bird folk have wings that go out full, but then They've got kind of claws where the thumb of the bird would be. They've got a whole hand kind of thing, okay, so they can that, kind of fold up into my there. Question: Yeah, how many yeah. limbs a bird folk has? How many limbs? Yeah, are so they, they centaurs got... or? No, they've got the full. Okay. Are you making fun of me now? No. They got full four full uh, bits. Okay. I don't know. All right. Bits being limbs. Um, yeah, no, it's it it is kind of weird, but they kind of like have an extra hand, and they've got. The wing yeah, so it's, it's a hand on the end of the wing, not another set of arms coming from. No, the no, 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 not like that. We're not like, like that, we're right? not like Harvey Birdmanning it here. It's, it's no, like no, 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 no. Your wings wing. are your your arms are your, also your wings. Uh, yes, and then everyone else has. I think the uh, the uh, servant kind of have th two fingers and, and a thumb. That makes sense to me. Show the yeah, and then. Uh, Reg and Nico, you or sorry, Reg and, and Glass, you've got uh, fingies. Yeah, they're like little tiny claws. They're they're like paws. <laughs> if you want them to be paws, it's up to you. Um. Mm. Uh. So this is me giving uh, my thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. I sorry. I I, I, I hate to be bothered. Eh? Uh, I just need to see a thumbs up from everyone. So I agree to those terms. I consent. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think there's a thumb hidden in there somewhere. It's excellent. I'm uh, literally good. using my thumb in the puppet so there you go well i i believe you um <laughs> i'll take your word for it eh? um so uh he like is uh, this whole conversation he's been slowly reaching over to this shovel that's leaning up beside uh leaning uh beside the oh chair oh my god he's gonna kill us <laughs> and i keep the 250 bucks for mushroom to myself 270 70. 70. i You're forgot supposed to kill us when we come back <laughs> Uh, and he says, so, uh, the Mopox might already, might still be there, eh? Um, and also most of the, uh, most of the ground is covered in, uh, several, uh, several feet of acid, uh, that the mushrooms seem to form. Uh, and, uh, you can go faster, but you'll probably rattle the whole things apart. So choose wisely. And he pushes on the shovel, uh, and the floor <laughs> sinks out from all of you and you all start to fall down um into we're uh, not the term <laughs> <laughs> sorry eh as you uh as you fall all the way down um and you thought it was a polite canadian moose but the, not. the sound of several pots and pans crashing wow. to the uh to the ground and uh we're gonna move over to the caverns that you, you are see, now you in you just hear this coming down i don't think that was the right lever <laughs> uh, you should see a couple of minecarts now, and uh, your characters. Yep. Do, are you seeing these things? Yes, I am seeing um, these things. Oops. 
And you should also only see a little bit of the map, just the light that's around these uh, around these things. Um, so these are these are ten foot squares, and you're gonna spend most of your time inside. Uh, I just put them there for now. You're gonna spend most of your time inside the carts, um, or if you're kooky enough, out on the tracks. But that seems like a bad plan. Um, and so what I would like you to do is decide, because um, I'm a generous DM, and you'll have enough time during the fall to figure it out. Uh, who's riding in the which? Which two of you are in the front, and which two of you are in the back? Nico and I are in the front. Each, each, Nico and you are in the front. Yes. Uh, Nico, do you consent to this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I also have appropriately corny. Um, I don't want to go in the car. Just for the just for the fun and sake of this, uh, can I can I? It seems like Nico and Reggie are together, so I feel like Nico, you have feathers. You're able to probably. Uh, there's a there, there's glide. a bit of a grace. There's a bit of a graceful. There's no way there's he a, would be carrying a a fifty pound hedgehog in heavy armor. It's it's like a swan no, I, carrying a coconut. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Regina. What fell. is no? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we dropped Regina. Yeah. Yeah. We're, are we pushing Regina into the proper cart? Uh, I'm just letting you uh, fall in whatever arrangement that you want, and as oh, soon as you okay. drop into this, it's gonna start. They're gonna start moving. So, great. Uh, okay. Yeah, how it looks is uh, entirely up to you, but you're not gonna get hurt. Uh, so you're not gonna get the hurt smalls falling. Smalls in one, and then the talls in the other. <laughs> Actually, yes. Smalls in the front. Smalls, smalls in, the in the front. The back. Oh wow, it's just like taking grade school photos. Yeah, yeah no one has to sort like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, okay. So uh, that was smalls in the front and talls in the back is what I'm hearing? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Reggie and Nico in the front and the last and uh, Ayala in the front. Hey. The um, I'm just going to use this for now um, to keep track of uh, where, he, like the grouping. Um, just assume that the front cart is Nico and uh, Reggie and the back cart right now is Ayala and uh, glass, um, and if you happen to do something ridiculous, like get out of the cart while it's moving, uh, then we'll put you onto the board. Uh, do that. And have your own. <laughs> then you can have your own adventure uh, by yourself. Um, so, um, <laughs> as soon as you land down, <laughs> it'll be a short adventure. I have a feeling. Uh, so as you land down into these mine carts, um, there is a spark of like a like lightning bolt energy um, that seems to be just from the the weight inside of these things, and they start to move. Um, they start to move uh, forward at a kind of uh, upsetting pace uh, to start things at. Um, they move. They're gonna move 60 feet around. All right, and we're gonna roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. I, I I had to the, my math may be way off because I just kind of invented this stuff on the fly. So we're gonna see uh, just how in trouble you all are. But right now they're moving six. So sixty feet is six squares because again these are gonna represent ten. Feet. I have to Google terminal velocity for a hedgehog. <laughs> I'm, You're not gonna I, reach I, I terminal wouldn't. velocity. I wouldn't. <laughs> um. Yeah. So it's gonna move twice as fast as a person can move, uh, which is important because I don't want people to be easily catching up with it if they get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, that's going to be part of the fun, I think. So um, what you're saying is don't get out of the carts. So no, I'm, I'm gonna hearing need... don't get out of the carts. What I'm, I'm... hearing is... Please what keep, I'm saying is please if you get out of the carts... Please keep all wings, but... limbs, and appendages inside the cart at all yeah. times. <laughs> do get The upside is if you do get out of the cart, the carts will be back around again soon because they're moving so damn fast. But you'll have to jump into it, which is going to be, you know, another thing. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna start by just moving the uh, the trains, the 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 the, the mine cars, their first uh, six squares. <gasps> that was that. Um, and uh, now I'm gonna get everyone to roll initiative. We're gonna do this whole thing in initiative order. Uh, see how that goes. We're gonna play kind of loosey goosey with the initiative order, so a little more flexibility, time for role playing and things. But it's more just so we we keep track regularly of the movement of the train. Uh, sorry, it's not a train. It's literally just two mine carts that are moving too fast. Um, I will need a reminder of the best way to get everybody's, because I know there's a gadget, the turn order gadget. Okay, so we have to have our tokens. <laughs> Token, moving. where did you go? You're in the darkness. Uh, oh, no. oh, I'm okay. sorry. That's yeah. going to be an issue, isn't it? Token um, selected, then hit 
initiative. Because I rolled gonna... a 20, and now I'm going to have to re-roll it, I think. I'm going to yeah. crash a minecart over here, yeah. uh, which will light up these things for us so we can... There we go. That's oh, work. Okay. Aw, now it's a 7, but stream yeah. you saw that. I had a 20. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay, so wh it's what fine. are you all doing to do this, uh, just so I understand? Okay, so you have to select your token and then hit initiative in the sheet, and it just automatically goes yeah. out. It'll automatically do it. Okay, perfect. Uh, Roll cool. 20 facts. Excellent. Yep. I am, for the purposes of surprise, I will not be adding my baddies to the order, if if there are even any baddies. I mean, this is going to be real easy. So uh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry if they suddenly show up and they're not in proper turn order. Um, so for things to make make sense, the people the people in the front car, uh, you're, it's going to move at the end of your turn. So you're going to be able to make a few decisions about switching the track and changing where you're going um, before the, the, the cart rockets forward. But don't worry, the people in the back have something fun that they can fiddle with too. Um, so uh, Glass and Ayala, when you look down, uh, when you look down at your tracks, you see uh, if anyone's familiar with um, uh, the Back to the Future franchise, the third movie, um, Doc Brown has a series of colored logs that he tosses into the boiler uh, to make the, the train at the end go fast. Okay, sounds like no, no one knows what I'm talking about. No, okay, but, okay yeah. all right, all right, all right. Um, you see three similarly colored levers, uh, green, yellow, and red, um, and each one touches down on the track um, uh, and, and has some kind of, like, uh, glass bottle attached to the bottom as though it's going to bash the uh uh it's going to bash the bottle onto the track and perhaps make things go uh haywire um when you uh then the next thing you hear is our good friend the canadian moose uh wallace uh he, his voice comes in over a tube that is somehow attached to the the front of this thing and he says uh are, are you all right down there eh did you land soft what do you care no I care. I care about those mushrooms, and so and so I, I care about you too. Then, hey, so like, come back. Safe. I'm here with you. I'm here with you every inch of the way, though. No, so. you most certainly are not. Well, in spirit, hey, this is gonna be fun, all right? Don't worry, Nico. I'm going to protect you. Who's going to protect him? Uh, not all, it. <laughs> all right. Um. His his large amounts of gold. I yes, guess. Yeah, wait. But what if he doesn't have them? I can't. Oh, I oh. can't say it. I can't say it. Dang it! I didn't think of that. No, I was gonna say if he's dead, we can take the gold anyway. But I already promised that this paladin wouldn't start going on a murder rampage. So. You did promise that again it's true. today. Yes. Again. <laughs> maybe maybe there's like know. a refresh I mean, time. Maybe perhaps. Is there a also, countdown? Not honoring a deal might you know might you know yeah. paladin yeah. honor. I. No money, no eggs. Why did I, you, why did I still you have this class? His <laughs> teacup, it's fine. All right, so we got our turn order. Um, Glass, then Nico, then Ayala, and then Reggie holding up the rear. So um, I'll let you decide the between everyone, the two Kelly between the, the two carts. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Reggie. I said to the surprise of everyone, Kelly rolled the lowest. Oh, That's uh, if you have the curse, I, I am sorry. Um, so basically, between the two people in the, in the in the front car and the two people in the back, you can decide on what turn things happen when it comes to the train. When it comes to the traveling car, um, I will I will draw attention to this uh, this switch in the track. Though it says though it shows sort of specifically, like mechanically, you can't technically go back on it. Just imagine if you were coming up from the bottom, you could turn right, even though it doesn't make sense visually. But just imagine. The physics of this are that you can go, yeah. When you're ready to leave, when you've had enough, you go back up the direction that you started in. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll start with glass. Uh, glass, you're in the back, and you hear um, you hear Wallace say, "So green means f go faster, and yellow means go a little faster, eh? And then red means you, like add just like as much juice as you can to it, eh? So it's really goose it. That one is if you really need to go." The thing is, is that there's no kind of turn that's the speed down. So once you once you commit, you commit, all right? And do them in order. Oh, amaranthines help you if you do them not out of order, eh? Like if you do them, in, do one, two, three. Like it's as easy as that. So 
learned that on my uh, TV programs. I don't know. I, there's no TV in Humble Edge. So, one, two, three, easy peasy. Okay? Remember that. Repeat it back to me. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, well, I'm your only... I'm I'm your... Just, just for legal reasons, can you repeat back the instructions to me, eh? I want to talk to your lawyer. <laughs> never, never had a need for one of those, eh? All right, good luck. Um, so... <laughs> I don't think you understand the law. So each each one that you break will uh, increase your speed by 10, 10 more feet per round. Uh, so the max speed on this thing is 90 feet around. Pull the red one first. <laughs> oh, you're taking your life in your own hands there, eh? So, yeah. All right, what oh. would you like to do on your turn? The little ones are going to be in charge of the movement, so making the decisions of the steering. So right now you're at the back. Yeah, so let's. You can also discuss among you know amongst yourself what direction L let's down start with or the down or forward. Yellow one. I Are guess. you straight up gonna do them out of order now? Oh, I thought it was. Oh, sorry. It's green, yellow, red. Mild, medium, spicy. You know, green. Green is a little bit. Yellow is a little bit There's more. no slowing down. Okay. Yeah, there's no like, slow. Okay. There's fast, so it's just, faster. It's just so we'll faster. Start with, oh, yeah, no. We'll start with green, yes. I let's think. Not, let's not go to plaid. Let's, let's <laughs> not do that. But think of the merchandising option. So um, you reach immediately right out of the gate, reach down and grab onto the green lever and just turn it down towards the... Um, uh, turn it down towards the uh, uh, tra uh, rail. And uh, the liquid splashes all over it and seems to get up into the undercarriage and under the wheels and there is a jolt uh as your speed immediately starts to pick up so on on one of the small folks turns uh it will move 70 feet instead of 60. um so we'll uh you can that's that's gonna be like an object interaction or whatever class so i'm gonna say yeah. that's a freebie you can hold your action I don't know if you've got a weapon you want to have ready or something um, like that. Let me review my weapons momentarily. You know, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, I shouldn't have made strength my dump stat. But I'm a rogue. Um... I too have regrets. <laughs> About my sheet now. <laughs> be, glad that, be glad that the negative one intelligent person is not in the lever card. No, you're just steering. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll ready <laughs> my my short bow. Perfect. Uh, uh, sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll hop. Uh, you, so we'll say you're ready to shoot at anything that's gonna threaten the cart, kind of thing. Yeah. Like I said, we're gonna play pretty fast, so we'll lose with the initiative. Yeah, players. I don't know what's around here, so I can't be like I can't. If I, someone's gonna be threatening, they're gonna get stuck. So, uh, Nico, you are small and you're trying to see out, I imagine, a little bit over I, the edge. Yeah, I actually have a question. Is there... <laughs> no, you're tall the enough three, to see the out. The three-foot squad is now both in one. There group. was a layer of, like, burlap sacks and things that you landed oh, in that me. kind of give you some elevation. Uh, the taller ones are kind of, would have to be down on their knees kind of in there, and oh, then the man. two of you could be standing and you see a bit over. The um, picture I sent y'all in, in chat now is perfect because it's yeah. just the hedgehog looking over the top of the thing. Um, okay. So there is a turn coming up. You can either go down, uh, you can go south, or you can head uh, east. Now, he said it was a loop, so presumably you'll find your way back here eventually, but... Um, so we just want to try and do a loop, get some yeah, mushrooms, um, and get out, basically, it sounds like. So it so we're coming up to a junction and we we have to make a choice at that point and then it will be um yeah yeah because oh. it'll move at, we'll say it moves at the end of Regina's turn since uh, <laughs> she's last uh, and we'll we'll the direction you choose there's basically yeah the timing of it is like there's a switch that you're gonna pull as you go by to choose the direction you're going but, okay yeah. um. Yeah, in, it's in a group for, decision. You can hear each other too in the two groups. Yeah. Uh, in for in for a penny. Uh, as we're as we're swiftly moving forward, Nico Nico looks ahead. Is, are the are these? Sorry. Um. Is there 
like much lighting in here? Is it dark light? You are you are limited to the light that's on your uh, basically on your cart uh, right now. There are some lanterns that are lit that are hanging on it. You will have opportunities to create more light as we go. But uh, um, if you have other spells or something that you would like to use, or like a torch or something to extend the light, let me know. You currently have a 20 foot radius, I think. So uh, this is, it's dark. Uh, there's a bit of a very light glow coming from the center of the room where it seems like, or like further in where it seems like uh, the bioluminescent mushrooms you know, are taking over. Raising there. Hmm. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, scoping it out, Nico is basically saying, East! East is good. East. That, that, that's right, right? That's right. Yeah, to the right, straight on. To the right. 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 Kind of just yelling as we're as we're as we're barreling ahead to get confirmation. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. works. As you know, pulling the lever, right? <laughs> I, I I assume as long as we come back around after. Well, that's a good chase, eh? That's gonna get you where you need to go, I think. I don't know. I don't have a map. All right, um, so uh, Nico, do you want to hold an action perhaps to, do you have a weapon you'd like to have ready? Um, oh goodness. Uh. The only thing the only thing <laughs> that native to this area that you might be concerned about is a creature called the Ember Bat, which is a, a, an adorable little fella that has a little, um, basically like a little flame on their nose they can switch on and off that, uh, you know, occasionally causes fires to break out but they're very Jeez. small and they only very rarely swarm when you say a do mm. 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 Just, just a little fire snoot just a little yep. okay okay yeah, okay that's the worst um, that can happen. in a yeah um right filled with acid yeah and other contents we don't know about yeah nico is, is actually just gonna gonna ready 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 his daggers Kind of have them like not, you know, just just ready because this is far more than anyone bargained. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, I'll say, Nico, you get as you kind of pull yourself up to look, you can see about a 40 foot drop down to what looks like um, this kind of roiling green, bubbly kind of liquid uh, that. You know, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't look, uh, there isn't like a foul kind of acridness to the air, but it also doesn't look like it would be great to fall into. It looks kind of sticky, to be honest. All right, um, Ayella. How far did we fall? You f you fell- uh, 20 feet? Uh, uh, well, no, it was a little further. It was more like a 40, 50 foot fall. Are we still like, we haven't like really taken off yet, right? You have to imagine because we're using initiative and things are slowed down <laughs> into into six second increments. You have to imagine that you are moving incredibly fast. Dang it! Okay. It's moving. That's at cool. The end, That's fine. At the end That's of cool. Reggie's turn, it's going to move se uh, seventy feet now because Glass pulled the first lever. Okay. Since Glass pulled, okay. I was gonna I was gonna shout up vicious mockery at him, but it's cool. It's fine. At glass. Um, big poop head moose friend oh, anyways I see. um you could cast vicious mockery through the tube if you want <laughs> i'm not here I to watch. say no to my players <laughs> just like cup my little hoofy hands around yep. the around the cup and be like two things one what do the mushrooms look like two this was like really super ungroovy man and i'm gonna like <laughs> i'm gonna use that to cast vicious mocker what's your what's your spell save dc um it is a, a dc 15 wisdom save uh all right uh you hear ow my brain eh from the other side of the tube what did you, did you just spit magic in the tube at me i'm gonna pay good money for those mushrooms that's rude what do they look like? They're big and they're kind of greenish eh? and they're kind of like real glowy looking. All right. We're going to like I'm... totally talk when we get like back there because this is like super not cool. I can do 280 and go no higher. I'm not negotiating any further than that. Dang it. Every time he raises the money, I do. I feel a little bit better. <laughs> Dang it. All right. All right. That was my 
bonus? That's your I action. Think? No, it's an action. That's an action? Mockery. Well, yeah, yeah, vicious mockery is an action. Uh, look oh, at you that. You can roll your 2d4 damage to do to the moose if you want. It's it's on there. It's on roll 20. It, oh, right. It's Sorry. six psychic damage. Ouch. Yeah. I, I guess I'm going to have to beef up this moose beyond commoner. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to kill him over the phone. <laughs> right. He deserves. Now that, now that we know it's an option, I mean. <laughs> just like, no. can you imagine getting <laughs> through the self through like a cell phone? A table like, has. My brain. <laughs> The attitude towards my moose has changed so dramatically in the past 20 I minutes. I loved him. How dare you do this? No, this is not okay. No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it is now Reggie's turn. Yeah, that's fair. I asked a question and I did a mockery, we're, we're, so I feel like that's in, it. We're, we're in the carts. We're in the carts. We're, we're, we're about to start barreling, barreling Dan. Uh, so Reggie um, uh, first is flailing around to get back up because heavy armor, small hedgehog, small legs. So uh, flails around, gets back up, pops up over the side, pulls out the sword and shield. Nico, I really, uh, I really, I don't, I don't think this was a good idea. I told you it wasn't a good idea. I, as soon as I saw the moose, I thought it was not a good idea. A moose bit my sister once, Nico, and they cannot be trusted, Nico. And she will just stand up in the front, um, she can pull out her shield and kind of hold it in front to kind of block anything coming at Nico. Sort of like a cow catcher kind of situation on the really front of the. She believes is her best friend. All right. Um. So uh, maybe you're taking like the dodge action. Maybe give yourselves a little advantage on uh, on. Uh, sure. On the dexterity saves and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's 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 what I said. Okay. Sounds. Oh, well, I just want to. You know. No, no. I mean, it's a good idea, and I I totally said it. All right. Uh, I heard it. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to now move the uh, now I'm going to move the the train another um, seven squares. Now that you move the, I got to count. Why did I do this to myself? All right, all right. Back to the top of the round. See now I'm worried that 70 feet per round isn't fast enough. Um, I'm going to say glass. Uh, you hear a voice. Uh, you hear Wallace, and he says, "Is it danger pay that you're going to need now, eh?" I'm sorry, like, I don't mean, I just, I just, 300, it's the highest I can go. I will take your 300, but we need to talk about your lies. I told you everything really fast as you were falling down the chute, eh? It's fine. After we agreed. That's not how consent works. My suggestion is, is get towards the middle and stay there as, as long as you can, eh? That's where all the mushrooms are. Um, can I see anyone, anything, footsteps? I know we're going, like... Give me a perception check. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I see all. Wow. Uh, so you kind of maybe put your head down to the, the, the cart to kind of listen to the track a little bit, too. And there is definitely something else squeaking along the track uh, somewhere further up. And then you hear, and uh, definitely um, bats around the corner. Bats incoming. Uh, all right. You next up is Nico. Did you say bats or rats? I think they're flying her talking is a free action free action <laughs> say, uh, uh, why nico that it's like it's like acid on the floor why would there be rats, Fair. Acid, rats. oh, oh acid. yeah acid, eh? rats. Oh. you hear rollis say oh yeah eh? the rats got taken out by the acid real early uh no but the bats are the uh, the bats are still down there they're not uh they're not going into the traps so um uh, you know uh extra bonus uh 20 bucks uh, 50 gold ahead if uh, you know if you take those out for me bud so now we know that the conversion rate is uh, 20 bucks to 50 gold <laughs> 20 Canadian toonies <laughs> uh, so uh <laughs> gonna pay us in Timbits and gonna double say... doubles eh <laughs> gonna pay you only in the middle of, a, of the toonies eh I'm gonna pop oh out you're gonna punch out the middle of the toonie yeah that's illegal where I'm from uh so 
Uh, you can see also there is another intersection, I think, is within your light up here. Um, <clears throat> upper, upper continuing right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, blah, 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 wow. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. I think, um, let's see here. I'm having, um, so that's, let's see. If, if the character has dark vision, would that actually be of any use seeing beyond the glow that our carts are, like, the beyond the glow our carts are giving off? Would that be, would that be of any help? Yes. The perception check uh, ahead. The best way for me to portray that would be to give you some low light, maybe in the next. For next anyone year. interested, Jordan is currently <laughs> using Roll 20's dynamic lighting system, which allows you to have both a high light and low light in varying degrees throughout the area. That's kind of cool. <gasps> that is cool. There's that... a skeleton under a rock. <laughs> Okay, so that. so yeah, N Nico is essentially he is he is he is um, <clears throat> perturbed and peering ahead, um, trying to get trying to get a, an idea of what move to make next. And um, the uh, yeah, the, the skeleton under the rock is 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 definitely not wanting to do that. Or... So obstacles in the path are going to require some kind of jump, uh, which will be um, basically the strongest amongst you, amongst you uh, whoever that might be. Basically, like, jumping up and Reggie. down in the cart to get it to bounce. Reggie! <laughs> and what I'm going to say is, until we actually get into some fights, maybe maybe we'll just, oh, you can all decide the plan of action, and then I'll move you until something shows up. Um, okay. So you can all talk amongst yourselves as though you weren't in turn order right now, and just decide what direction you want to okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. So if, 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 if Nico, if N Nico, if you hold my legs, my back legs, um, I'm going to lean over the mine cart and put my shield down in between one of the things. Oh no, what are those called? The parts of the track that are wooden. <laughs> Um, oh, the rails? Are you talking the about flats. the rails? The, 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 the ties. Like, the ties? The ties. The tie, yeah. yeah, she's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking that maybe she should put her shield at the last minute between the ties. And... Okay, the leg jump. Bounce it. Well, oh, that's a much better idea because I was gonna flip us over and just hope that, you know, we stayed in. No, acid! Um, acid! Acid! acid. Yeah, so instead, she's going to do it and use it as a ramp. Ooh, ramp. Right. Ish. So um, I'll move you. And Everyone's it's still going to cool. be attached to her because she's not letting go of her shield. Everyone's cool with this uh, path of action? Yes. Yes. Right. Actually, no. She's going to leave the shield there and she yells to somebody in the back to grab her shield as they go. Gotcha. But you got to give it back. I promise. <laughs> I really don't want it. It's very heavy. It's, uh, it's a family heirloom. All right, I'll give you this first one as a freebie. You'll catch it without it, a problem. Like, it like totally I doesn't will... go with my whole aesthetic. <laughs> so do I have it again? Uh, you well, we need that athletics roll to see how good this jump goes uh, first. So give me an athletics roll. Like Brian immediately got worried because he's <laughs> he's played with me before. I would like if chat Reggie's to know. If Reggie's one thing, they're strong. Yeah, right? but I would like chat to know that I am proficient in this, which usually means not good things. Wait, 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 so... wait, 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 wait! Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll! This is my first time playing a bard. Can I inspire? You can inspire me, but you have to sing it. Oh, I don't sing. Oh, I'm kidding. It's, you don't it's have to more sing like <laughs> you like totally like got this. I like believe in you. You're like the strongest little hedgehog I've ever seen like my whole life. It feels a bit patronizing, but I'll take it. Dang it. I'll work on that. I'm sorry. It's a D6, right? At your level? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Wah! Okay, hey, never mind. There you go. Okay. I'm going to roll the D6 anyway. And also, why am I still on advantage? I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, I may as well leave it on just in case. Uh, um, <laughs> one. Um, so, 24. <laughs> All right, uh, the the carts rocket forward. I'll move the other one um, in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And as you get up to this um, barricade, 
you jam the shield down into basically making an impromptu ramp that vacuums up the shield and flings it to the back where Ayala um, is just fast enough to grab onto it. Um, and the whole thing jumps over over onto the other side. Um, up ahead, the sound of the... Um... Throw it back, throw it back, throw it back! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> up oh, ahead, boy. the sound of the bats. Uh, it sounds like there's a whole um, nest of them uh, coming up. Um, and also, uh, a group Brian of bats. Is it like and Nico... a grumble? What is it? Sorry? It's like a grumble of bats? I'm not sure. What... It's a whole um, bunch of them. Of ember bats, it would, it would be called a... Not a swarm? A conflagration? Bonfire. <laughs> yeah, uh, an, an explosion of ember bats. Uh, oh, dear. Something like that. Did you say a conflagration? Oh, yes. Conflagration, yeah. Conflagration is perfect. <laughs> a a, a, a flare-up of ember bats. Ooh. Uh, um, and also, uh, Nico, you would see that there is a uh, damage section of track up here, which is even tougher to get across. Um, <sighs> but it's green ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, green's bad, right? Green, green is, is green means shrooms? mushrooms. We want green we want mushrooms. the green the green glowies. Okay. Um. It's good for us. So I'll say one more kind of like discussion, and we'll jump into having the swarm. I mean, maybe the bats show up. Um. Do you think if we just go like faster, like maybe if we go faster, we can go across the track? Like we can just like jump. Like faster. Nico, do you see if the, the railroad thingies go up? Like, is there enough of a ramp? Are the things broken up? Are we, are we level? Yeah, are we level or are we at um, this point? Oh, this is rickety as hell. But if you want to give me, Nico, no. if you want to give me a perception roll, um, <laughs> I can give you a little bit more detail. Okay. We've got two whole more levers to try. Where is my, wait, where, click on my thing. Where did, ah. Hold on. As we discovered, if you if you ever have lost your sheet, if you go back to the beginning uh, where your character token is, you can click on it, uh, hold Alt, and double click, and it'll automatically open your sheet. Roll 20 tricks. Oof. Um, that is perception. Mm, I should have given you my inspiration. <laughs> I um, didn't need it. It is. <laughs> there, there is so much bumping around in the cart that you have trouble seeing. Like you get knocked down and you just kind of peer out one more time. And you think that there's enough of like an upward twist to what's going on there that if you were going fast enough, uh, yeah, sure. You just skip right over it. It's up to you how to deliver that information. Uh, <laughs> to your, uh. to your, to your, your eagle pigeon eyes, you see uh, that there's definitely little little curves up. Um, yeah, uh, Nico just turns around and yells, more speed! <gasps> exactly what I wanted to hear. Next lever! <laughs> pull the lever! All right, so you pull even have that the lever. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Nico, we're wind blessed. We got this. It's fine. <laughs> We'll you can basically fly. Um, so the lever gets pulled down, smashes the glass, the yellow liquid across the thing. There is another um, conflagration uh, behind the back of the minecart, and you rock it forward. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, I'm going to need a some kind of roll in order to kind of just make sure to steer it while it's midair. Getting into midair is going to be easy. It's the landing part that's going to be tough. Um, I'll let anyone in the front uh, propose what uh, what you want to roll there uh, since you're steering. I'll allow another athletics check. Um, I'll, you know, it's up to you, but I'll need some kind of uh, what details do you, here. What do, you, what do you think, best friend? Hmm. Um. I would maybe say I guess sleight of hand roll, like a dexterity roll to kind of subtly get the, shift it into the right position, forcing it with athletics. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I can I, try, I'm, but it's, you yep. know, I don't see where I'm going so much. An investigation check to like line up the shot, uh, I'll, uh, anything you like. Um, I, um, Athletics check. I guess, I guess that's the way we to should just go. like grab on and yeah, pull kinda, it. Kinda go with it. Yeah, um, you might have the best shot at it, to be honest. 
Nope. Oh no. All right. Um, so you do make it across because uh, okay. I can't I can't kill you all before the first room. Um, but uh, you're moving eighty feet eighty feet around now. That's what I heard. One, mm. two, three. Four. We definitely sped up. <laughs> we were going. Yeah. yeah. yeah we, we, Seven, we sped up. Eight. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna have this one dangling on the edge here. Um, so the <laughs> the minecart bursts up into the air, and uh, Reggie, you try to put all of your weight into it, and yeah, you're heavily armored, but you're also only three feet tall, and you just can't seem to do it. And it lands, uh, the the minecart lands like almost sideways, like sideways or, or a 45 degree angle, like on on two wheels, um, and slams into it, and you can feel a little bit of the a little bit of the wheel kind of bend in. And so now the front cart is doing this quite a bit. Now, um, oh no, the cart- no, we got the bad shopping cart. The cart can take damage, um, obviously. Um, it has 120 hit points. Um, and so it's gonna take 2d10 hit points uh, worth of damage uh, from this smash. Uh, can I get someone to roll? Who, who wants to uh, roll the damage for the, for the, for the, your, your mine cart? It's your mine cart now. 2d10, <laughs> anyone? Yes, goes. Uh, you know what, R- Reggie, you made the roll. You're making the 2d10. Uh, I'm Reggie. Yeah, yeah. Still. 2d10, please. <laughs> how much? How right. much HP do the cards have? 120. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're fine. All right, all right, it's all right. It's fine. All right. I mean. In... Okay. Nothing bad will ever happen. Uh, okay, so now you're on the other side, um, and this is where we'll go into turn order as uh, the rather large groups of... Um, uh, sorry, I'm heading over to my GM info overlay to bring <laughs> bring some swarms into the mix here. Mm-hmm, 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 that's mm-hmm. a whole... That's an entire yike. Mm. They are adorable. I'll share a picture and you won't feel so bad. But... A picture. Uh, share, we're, but we're going to kill them, so or no, we you might can just, still feel bad. You can avoid them if you want, I guess. Anyway, here is, uh, here is an ember bat. Oh. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. The yeah, fat little Bernie Sky puppy. I had an owl, owl man character that used one, in, kept one in his pocket as a lighter for his cigars. Uh, <laughs> you just give him a little squeeze, and the, and the fire pops out. Okay, um, so, uh, ooh, I should drop these down from this layer as well. Oh, as well? Well, I just, I moved is, them, but I didn't have them. Why is there an them. also? There's, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, so okay. they fly in squadrons down here, um, oh. because it's, they, a bunch of them can fit in a square. Um, yeah, so this is representing, you know, I'm going to add one more, because I really want everyone to understand that there's a lot of them. For some reason, some reason I decided you're the group I'm going to torture. I don't know why. So, wow. Uh, Thanks. It's because I like you. I like you all. Uh, okay. So, this um, these ember bats uh, are imagine them swarming kind of everywhere. They aren't like they don't seem aggressive. It's just dark and they're they're awake and they're kind of zooming around. Um, you can also see your first evidence of the glowing green mushrooms um, around. Are, are around they the really here. that big? They're very big. Yeah. We're gonna maybe get one of these. Some things are starting to make sense now. Um, have, all right. I have a quick question. Um, I'll have a quick answer. So, is the ground acid here? Oh yeah, all the way through. Oh yeah. Eh? Yeah, Wallace comes over and it's like, oh, definitely a eh? acid all the way down. How are we supposed to? I, okay. Does anyone have anything sharp? Maybe if we like slice while we're moving. So keep in mind also the bats move probably less than half the speed of the cart. So you're going to be through here before they will even really get to do much to you. So. Oh no, we're trying to get the mushrooms. Yeah, your goal is the mushrooms. So avoid bats, get mushrooms, get out. So for ease, because I, I, I saw all of your heads uh, explode when you thought the mushrooms were that big. I'm going to say there's groupings of them here. Um, there's maybe a big one, but there's a lot of smaller ones around it. So you just got to reach out and grab it somehow. Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, you'll be able to bring... We can just yoink them. Yeah. Okay. 
They're yoinkable. They, also... they're, they're not pretty close. These aren't, anyway, close. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's true. Hang on. I have. I've been playing a lot of masks, so I have a plan. It's just probably not a good plan. <laughs> but it is a plan. Yeah. Tell us um, your plan, oh, planny one. Um, is it a cunning plan? It, it is a. If it works, is it's it a cunning plan. As good as the master of cunning in Oxford and Oxford Uh, Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if. I attach rope to an arrow. And then just Hawkeye it. Damaged. He didn't say them to be in one piece. Mm -hmm. He just said mushroom. Um, Moose! Don't ask him. She's yelling into the tube. He's made of lies. He's listening anyway, honestly. What can I do you for there, eh? Um, if we were to maybe, uh, like, break one in half, is it okay? As long as you bring back two halves. I'll pay, I mean, I'll pay, a, I'll pay a half of... If you bring back half a mushroom, I'll pay a half a cost, which I believe is at 400 gold pieces each. But it's still the same each. amount of danger. It is. It is at 400 now. Right. I should really write this down, eh? Uh, <laughs> wait, are we... How much are we at? 400 per mushroom. So we even half a mushroom is pretty good at this point. Uh, okay, I think you should do the thing. Okay. Cool. There's also a rock to jump up ahead, as you can see. So this is not an intersection. You can't turn. Uh, you'll have to keep going straight through, and it will take you wherever it's going to take you. Is that rock a problem, or...? or... Oh, it's a problem. <laughs> I, okay. You're going to have um... to jump it by the end. <clears throat> All right. Um, hmm. uh, sorry, Glass, it is your turn. Does nobody have an explodey spell? Can we, like, explode the rock? I could. I was just looking at that. So just like, it is sitting on it is sitting on the track. Like it's a crumbled. Oh. Part of the... No, I, no. But you could I reach still, down. I have push a it really good feeling about this, y'all. Listen, I I think I could do this if you just like give me like a shot at this. I feel. I always believe bards. Yes, continue talking. I feel uh, really good, really really good. So so we are in turn order. So I just want to say, glass. You're attaching a, a, a rope to an arrow. Rope to an arrow, and then okay. shooting it at the mushroom. All right, give me an attack roll with the. You got this. this is great. This is great. An eleven to hit a big mushroom. That seems fair. Uh, the arrow shoots out across and lands and skewers one of them, and you, it, you can sort of tug at it, and it starts to come back your way. Um, I will say though that you see as one of the pieces of the mushroom starts to fly, an ember bat tries to swoop down to grab onto it, and then when you look around, the ember bats are grabbing chunks of the mushroom themselves, and uh, and sort of bringing it back to wherever their nests are, hidden hidden up in the things. So the ember bats seem to be pretty good at gathering mushrooms too. Um, but yes, you pull in one mushroom that's got an arrow skewered through it. Perfect. It's about this big. Okay. One uh, 400 gold piece mushroom. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I didn't really think about the map on this either, but uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> if you don't die down here in this acid pit filled mine, uh, you're going to be rich. Deal's getting worse all the time. <laughs> at the very least, you're going to be I mean, at this moose. point, I, 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 please go ahead and kill all these cute, lovable, fuzzy characters. Uh, Nico, it's your turn now. <laughs> cool. Um,. Okay, uh, and we are heading toward. We're we're heading toward. Uh, basically, we can't we can't turn. We're basically just heading towards debris on the track. That's right. Yeah, and okay. Ayala has said that on her turn she can handle it probably. Although uh, you could also do it if you've got something. I totally like you. Probably could also do something great. I totally believe it. Oh, that's that's very kind. Um. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Uh yeah. Um. Let's see here. Um, yeah, uh, even at the speed we're going, um, Nico is going to attempt to, uh, to use a cantrip gust at the debris to move it out of the way. Uh, okay, sounds good. Um, is there kind of a role for that? I go ahead and click on that. it. If you click on the name, I think oh. it'll give us some details in roll twenty. Um, oh wait, there we go. Aha! Awesome. Dang, this is a useful website. 
Did I do that right? Um, so. <laughs> Good work. I'll pay you later. Okay, that was nice. That was smooth. That was smooth. Big, big wink. Um, okay, so one medium or smaller creature you'll see must succeed on strength save. Glass and push 10 feet. Yeah, I'm just going to say um, you you uh, dislodge enough, um, you know, uh, of, the, of the stone that the bigger one on top kind of slides off to the side. And then you see it like hit the sludge down at the bottom. And there isn't a sizzle. It's more like it lands in kind of this green molasses and then it just sort of slowly sinks. Oh. Um, so I'll, I'll delete these rocks. Don't. Okay, sticky goo, great. Reggie is sitting there going, oh my God, Nico, you're so cool. Uh, I want the maps. That's what I want. Okay, there we go. Oh, of course. You deleted the car, the tracks. <laughs> saw really? that. I where saw what this, you did. <laughs> where is this rock? Uh, what layer is it on? Oh, Tokens oh, and it's items. On, it's on the object layer. Yeah. My bad. All right, rock be gone. Um, as you clear the, the rocks away, you do see there's a lantern sort of hanging on the track here. It's not lit, but it is one that you can light to help remind you of the intersections and stuff around here. So if someone has an action they can take to light it up as you go by, um, keep an eye out for those lanterns all the way through. Uh, okay, uh, Nico, that seems pretty uh, pretty good for your turn. Um, any bonus action stuff, anything like that? Um, uh no do we um do we know what the green goop is like would we would would and would we normally know or what the green um it's not mind? look like acid um so okay. if you would like to make a nature check um sure i can oh no wait that ah come here you could taste it taste science we're not doing that this is not no, we're not, it's not it's not a rock so we're not tasting it. that's not definitely that. taste science <laughs> yeah um, yeah, sure. Uh, we'll do a nature check for the sticky green goop. Nature check for goop. Excellent. Uh, 18. It definitely has a consistency more of a sap, like something, um, something that might come out of a tree. Um, it is glowing green, so it's maybe something nature of the mushrooms or something like this. Um, you give the air a sniff. Uh, I don't know if pigeons are known for smelling. But you give the air a sniff, and there's definitely kind of a sweet smell hmm. now that you think about it. So maybe it's a river of candy. No. Wouldn't that be nice this for is, everyone? This, is, this has now become the scary boat ride, and we're not doing that. No. <laughs> uh, don't don't drink it. That's for sure. Um, okay. Uh, now it is the Ember Bats' turns. Uh, a swarm of them dive over to where the mushroom, or four swarms, pardon me, dive over to where the mushroom uh, was uh, snatched to, and. Um, Two of them are going to try and dive and grab the mushroom out of your hand. Uh, so I'm going to just make a little attack roll for them with their little biteies. Uh, so one bite. That I'm going to say, well, will you say you'll still use your armor class. What's your armor class? Um, it's 14. All right. So that's a miss. One little baddie swarm swings down and misses. Yeah. Uh, the other one also just misses. And the, the next two are mad and they decide they're going to attack you to try and get you to drop it. Um, so... Ooh, a 23. I feel like that might be Oh, um, hold on. I'm a... I'm a weird... Ro I'm, a, I'm a rogue. I can do things. Like... Uncanny dodge. Okay. Which I'm is... using my reaction to have the attack's damage. Excellent. And I think I click on the attack... And, and it, it will should just... For me. Yeah. Um, but you're doing sneaky GM rolls. Mm. Oh, I'm the only one seeing it. That's right. Yeah. Uh, dee -dee -dee. Six piercing. All right. Uh, you take uh, six piercing damage from the first one, cut in half to three. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll again with the second one. That's a 17. That's a hit. Can't use your uncanny dodge this time. No, I only have one reaction. Uh, and then oh. you take seven piercing. Uh from that. Um, so these little uh, little creatures, they come down and um, yeah, they're kind of nipping at you to try and get you to drop the... Uh, it's really cute, uh, but they're also trying to steal your 400 gold piece. Uh, and I bet I could egg. get this moose to go up to five. 
Yeah, he definitely didn't write anything down. Uh, okay. Ayala. You are uh, up next. Unfortunately, you're within five feet of some uh, embers, ember uh, bats, so you need to make a DC 10 constitution save, please. Can I do it? I Okay. So it's not my turn. It's still their turn, right? No, no, it's your turn. It's just when you're within five feet of them, their little flames uh, might scorch you. But what if I did a thing to make them not within five feet of me? It starts at the, it's at the beginning of your turn. Dang. Okay. So it's a... Uh, <laughs> I love of... the negotiation. <laughs> I have to try, okay? Yeah. Listen, I'm I'm a, I'm a bard. I have to anyway. Um, what kind of saving throw was it? Uh, Constitution. Constitution. Dang. I should have been good at that, but I, oh hey, oh hey, like, wow. like I'm feeling really good about this. Like, you you resist the scorching matchstick that is the nose of the ember bats. Um. All right, now you can take your turn and destroy them or whatever it is you, you resisted want to do. resisted the flaming boop. Yep. <laughs> no boops. Fire boops. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to stick my very long, very spindly deer legs out. Um, can I do it across both carts? Because I'm quite big. If I lean, can I spread my arms? Yeah, Would what you is say... the end... Tell me what your end game is and I'll... I'll... <laughs> Tell me what your end game is. Jess, what are you doing? Um, yeah. I want to use a very cool and very special Humblewood spell called Gust Barrier, because I am okay. I am a wind blessed deer. Listen, the wind it loves it touches us all. We are wind touched. Let's get a little bit of that fart magic going. <laughs> Excuse you, you did you you wrote this spell? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you don't think I made fart jokes all through the? Process? I legit That's was true. thinking fart jokes when I was oh, even sure. writing this up. I'm just like, oh yeah, I've heard your real wind blessed, eh? Ugh. They off the poutine. Excuse <laughs> No. <laughs> and those little curds are hitting at me every time. Uh, so all right. I spread my arms, and you see all the little, like, dangly ribbons and things that I've decorated myself with very intentionally, like, kind of, like, lift up. And I'm going to make a little gust barrier around us because um, it lasts for one round, and it makes any... I feel like ranged and melee attacks, they're kind of, like, little airborne... Little little attack. They're making melee attacks. I yeah, see. so I'm I'm blocking us with like wind. I'm just we and we all look beautiful. We all look windswept. We all look just like yeah, all of us like our fur and our feathers are all just like moving in the wind. Clack, 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 clack. Do not, not like. Me. Do not like. <laughs> I just got spikes. Not my mushroom. Nope. I just got spikes. So Reggie is just looking as stout and spiky as ever. No dramatic. The control. little shield. Whoop. Yep, the little visor. <laughs> it comes down. All right. Um, yeah, so you kind of blanket everyone in this layer of farts that seems to make. Um, Excuse you, it's I don't not know farts. If it's the smell or whatever, but it keeps it keeps them from getting too close. Uh, and. and <laughs> sorry, I mean. You're fine, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's low hanging mushrooms, right? Uh, so, uh, Regina, you're up. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, we're not near the lanterns yet, correct? Uh, well, you're you're about 30 feet away from the lantern. 30 so. feet away from the lanterns. Um, oh no, where to put my character sheet? And I will say these, this group of, uh, of swar this group of ember bats is, um, they're like, they have a bunch of mushrooms amongst them that they're just kind of like nipping at and, uh, and biting at. It's kind of like, you know, grabbing onto one, biting it, tossing it to another ember bat. They're just kind of having fun and eating at the same time. So there are some mushrooms to be grabbed potentially as you zoom by. Okay, but um, I am not very dexterous, but what I can do is look, concentrate very, very hard. And I'm going to remember to click the spell. I'm going to cast Druidcraft and I'm going to make the, the the lantern just go whoop, okay and light up uh let me quickly duck into my dynamic lighting also uh it, it, the lantern now it smells like farts because apparently i can do that too it smells like hearts no farts 
Oh, you excellent. started this, Jordan. Really? Mm -hmm. You it's farted this. It's all farts this. now. <laughs> yeah. I all farted farts this. all the way down. That's what the goo is. I it's farted just, this and I, I'll fart it, it again. It is solidified farts. That's what it is. Oh, oh. no, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's a poop. This is getting yeah. worse. It's no. okay. It happens to all of us. Um, it crap install of us. Uh, all right, oh. so, sorry. Get sorry. <laughs> sorry, but fired. really not sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, Reggie, you light up, um, I'm not sure how much it changed for now, for you right now, but uh, you, you lit up an intersection here. Um, and all of the amber bats seem like their attention seems to be drawn towards the, the flame and the thing. Um, and now I'm gonna move your, uh, your rickety vehicle. Well, I, uh, oh, is there I, something else you'd like to do? Well, I, was, I needed to see if this other thing was um, a a bonus action or an action. I do not play this class much. Okay, it's all action. So yeah, I'm done. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You rocket past these um, amber bats. I won't give them a tax of opportunity. Um, and uh, you come across another layup as well. All right, next up, Melancholy. Or Glass, um, sorry. By night known as Glass. Uh, you know, I think... I'm going to stow the mushroom I have. Uh, and then shoot off another... Another arrow. Yeah, that works. Okay. Oh. Give me an attack roll. Yeah. Give me mush. Roll for shroom. How does a 14 do? A 14's good. You just need a 10. They're big. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the arrow goes out, skewers another one. Um, give me a strength, just a straight up strength roll. Oh, a straight up strength roll. Yeah, just straight up. Not like with the twist. <gasps> a twist. Oh, lemon on the side. Ooh. <laughs> As far as everyone knows, you're very strong. So you yank Thank on the you, you yank Scots. on the rope and pull that you pull that mushroom back before it gets uh, before it gets uh, caught eaten eaten up by the um, by the uh, little fire batsies. Um, okay. Uh, at the end, is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, no. That's well. Just make sure I have both of them, and that's it. Make sure you have both mushrooms. You mean? Yeah. Oh, you do. That's it. We already yeah. have. We already have two. You better have at least a thousand gold ready for us. What? I thought it was six hundred gold per per mushroom. Oh yes, yeah. So twelve. Sorry, my math was wrong. Twelve hundred. You're, you're shorting yourself now, eh? It's not. You gotta be. Gotta keep track of your numbers. Yep. You um, got me. At the end of your turn, um, Glass, there is a loud clank on the uh, on the rails. As uh, from the ceiling drops uh, uh, another rail car. It seems to have been hanging up there somewhere out of view. And inside of it um, is the cutest damn mop hawk you've ever, you've ever seen. And I will show him to you in a second, show them to you in a second, but I gotta do the thing I'm doing. Uh, so yeah. So it's right here, it's behind you. Sitting in it is a wild eyed looking mop hawk. They are, um, they're like, covered in uh they've got like armor but it's made out of like railway uh railway spikes that are kind of all wrapped around them and their car is sparking at the back mine car is sparking at the back like yours um i'm going to show you the picture of the mop hawk tinker this is a little cuter than what the this this character should look like but um it's just such a great illustration that i'm going to show you <laughs> Why cuter? Why too cute? Not too, not Give too cute. Give me the cute. Yeah. Deliver Don't into my hands. Don't us with cute. And then like. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm not deliver the here. cute. Deliver the cute. <laughs> uh, so here you go. Look at this guy. Um. <gasps> oh my God. Oh look my little goodness. Tongue. Why? I, oh no. <laughs> Him so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so cute. Let's kill it. <laughs> Reggie, mean, uh, come on. Reggie. Reggie, please. He's oh, gonna, Reggie, yeah. They're going to take their turn. 
If he takes one shot at me, or he tries to touch Nico. That's it. This little, little trash panda, he's gonna have some problems. <laughs> we definitely designed them to be very trash panda-y. Um, sorry, I'm... What's in here? Okay. Um, and now it's their turn. Click. All right. Uh, he, they are cl cackling at the top of their yellow lungs. It seems like there is all kinds of buzzing and whizzing sounds coming from inside, and he reaches down to grab a random thing. Um, and um, he uh, chucks it towards who's in the back right now. It is Glass and Ayala. So uh, I, you're covering everyone up. Uh, Ayala, so you're gonna unfortunately take the hit, but it's a disadvantage. Yeah, I am fully, <laughs> literally, physically <laughs> yeah. trying to cover everyone. I'm just um, a bard. Have you ever wondered if Ayala is ticklish? Because like, it seems like this might be a really good time to find out. Oh, so please don't! Please, please don't! Time. I mean, not the time. Not the time. <laughs> at disadvantage. At disadvantage is a thirteen. Uh, against my AC. Mm -hmm. My AC is. 13. All right. Unfortunately, that's a hit. And yeah, meets take... beats. Well, butts. <gasps> well, butts for me. <laughs> you take. Um, you take six piercing damage. Um, as like this, um, the ball that gets thrown turns into this clockwork bird that with this very pointy kind of beak that dives down towards you and skewers you. That's like not very like wind touched. That's like not cool. Bad. Stop trying to make fit wind touched happen. <laughs> wind touched is happening. Just ask Nico, okay? It's real. Don't, don't ask Nico. Next, next time, don't get hit, my dear. <laughs> like I've never heard that one before. <sighs> really? Seems really obvious when you think about it. Uh, that's this guy's turn. Uh, <laughs> He's just another annoying ad addition to this game. Uh, Nico. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so we now have a minecart behind us that, that's aggressively. I, yeah. I, 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 mm, okay. You're going pretty um, fast. You don't know how fast they're going. All right. Two mushrooms down. Uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Um... Um, yeah, I, not sure if it can be heard over the, um, over the, over the gust barrier, but he's, Nico's going to yell back to the, um, to the trash panda. What do you want? We're on a job. Like trying to sound professional or something. Right, right. <laughs> um, hey, you're on a job. I'm looking for work. He's like still winding up another bomb to chuck at you. Can convince him to help us with mushrooms? No, no, we could just connect him with the. Let's just connect him with them, um, you know, liar McLiar face. That's our I... goal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not authorized to bring you on with our job, but uh, maybe you can contract with our employer. I have no idea if there's a working uh, tube moose thing in his mind card or not. Uh, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem to be. Um, um, but you do hear the moose say, "An employee, eh?" Uh, make a persuasion roll, uh, Nika. Crap. Actually, this might, this might, this might not be so bad. Um, dice, why? Do I have a thing? Do I have a thing? Do I, I don't mm. have a thing. <laughs> why? Can't, I can't inspire me? after the fact, right? One, That's not how it works. Uh, you got a, one you thing got I'm supposed 15. to be good at. Oh, 15, that's pretty good. I'm an overachiever. That doesn't look good oh. to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fair. this mob hawk is, uh, is, uh, easy to please um so uh 
he's like, how much does it pay? Mopak the Grand Nagus by any chance? Um, <laughs> Regina, Regina pops her nose up over the side of the cart. 75 gold per mushroom. On it. And he, a grappling hook shoots out of the side and drags in some mushrooms from off to the side. I did the persuasion. Someone be proud of me. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Nico, completely out of character, looks at Regina and goes, nice job. <gasps> Regina's, like, nose starts quivering. <laughs> and she's like, thank you, friend. And she's like, she, she looks like it is the best day of her life. <laughs> All right. Um... Next up is the Ember Bats. Uh, I'm going to say we're running low on time here. Uh, so I'm going to say they're kind of hovering around the outside, but until you bug them, they're not going to do anything to you. Um, uh, next up is Ayala. Oh, shoot. It's my turn. Uh, so my, my, my wind spell only worked for one round, so that means it ends. Um, mm -hmm. And then I have to... What? Are we, are we, so are we good? Are we getting more? Are we getting out of here? What's the plan? I'm, we have two, we can get out of here. Okay, all right, let's, let's. Just let him get the rest of it. He's only how is, yeah, how, how is our, party. how is our subcontractor doing? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, he pulled in, uh, he pulled in some mushroom, like a big mushroom into the, into the cart. Uh, and then immediately a bunch of uh, amber bats just swarmed down into it. And all you can see is his little, uh, washer hands just trying to swat them away. Um, You're the doing great! Is... You're doing great! Just like keep sure. grabbing mushrooms and like meet us at the end and we'll totally he's give He's swatting, you... he's swatting, and then one hand just goes throw up throw some of those them. birds at them. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Um, all right, so I vote that we hurry up out of here and I'm gonna pull the last lever to go faster to get us out. <laughs> okay, the last the last potion the last smashes on the turn. Are we in turn order now? Are we still in turn order? Uh we can we can just uh, hop out of turn order for sure, but I will crank up the music for the fastest uh There's a faster song. Oh no. It's a little faster. I mean, this is all. I don't know if y'all have ever seen hedgehog ears. They're like little, little flippies. So her ears are like. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> we're out of turn order because we don't have that much time left, and I haven't done anything. Um, she's got. She's like looking over the car, and she looks kind of scared. And then she turns around real fast at Nico. She's like, "Hey, Nico." Nico. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she casts Zone of Truth on the minecart. It is done. Uh, Nico, do you want to resist? <laughs> oh, no. Now you, we're down to brass You can tacks. willingly give in or you can resist. Those are your... Um, <laughs> knew what I was when you brought uh, me into this game. Hold on a second. Okay. Um... Is Nico aware of the? Is Nico aware of the spell? You get the opportunity to to try and not do it. It's a charisma save. Um. Yeah, he's he's gonna make a charisma saving throw. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, how do I do that? Click it. Yeah. So on your on your sheet on the course stats, there's your like um. Like the top little box of things are strength. Oh, sorry, are saving throws. So you're going to want to find the one that's the charisma saving throw and click on where it says charisma. You can still ask questions as it barrels along. I'll also need someone to make some kind of roll to get you over the next jump that's happening here. The, oh, okay. Here. So the first thing she, she does is she says, Nico, are, are you, are, um, are, are you, are you my best friend? She looks very hopeful at you and her eyes are glistening. It's like that um, cartoon moment that like zooms yeah, in on the big Like this just the huge as eyes. Uh, Nico, well, N Nico, well aware, well, well aware of what has happened and aware that he is, he is not bound to it, says yes. 
Regina, you're my best friend. He doesn't look very comfortable or happy or in a state of goodness right now because we are still barreling at the highest of speeds, but he says yes. <laughs> but, um, so... <laughs> if there's a white-knuckled version of a <laughs> loom, he's like, um, uh-huh. <laughs> yep, so... So let me look at this map here. Um, so we are at this curve over here, right? You are just about to turn here, yeah. So um, are we going into a wall? Uh, you're going to jump over a, a okay, thing here. Okay, yeah. that was confusing. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So um, as she turns around, she's like, what, really? She sticks her sword out and like grabs it on the track so that they turn on two wheels. Ooh, nice. Good maneuvering. Um, all right, uh, you jump over <clears throat> without too much of an issue here. Um, you know what? We're going to barrel through the last little bit here. There's some jumps. Um, there's some real death-defying activities uh, as you are heading back up. And you picked a it route, It strengthens luckily. our bonds of friendship. <laughs> it does, yes. Um, and, bonds of revenge. Um, our bonds of who's gonna, terror. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, Glass, you hear a voice over the pipe that's like, how's it going down there? How many mushrooms you got? Lots. That sounds like more Glass? than one. Glass, what's the count? <laughs> well, I feel like our subcontractor... Uh... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I was good until Brian started laughing. <laughs> uh... In my defense, I did not actually kill him. We have two in hand currently. And probably okay. about four with a corpse, but I don't know if that's gonna like flavor them bad. A corpse? Yep. Wow, okay. I'm gonna up the danger pay for sure. Thanks. Um, so uh, get your way back to the entrance and, and I'll, uh, I'll send down the ladder. Okay. Deal. So you, you keep bar barreling through. Um, until you find your way back over to your the place you came in here. Um, and as you pull up, it just, everything stops on a dime. So I'll need everyone to make a dexter one last dexterity save. A dexterity save? Dexterity? Say. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's, I was on the wrong menu. Yeah. Heck. Mm. You might not be held to the friendship, don't worry. <laughs> uh, hey! Hey! Hey, this is looking good across the board, I gotta say. Um, all of you managed to hold on just tight enough to not get flung out as it stops on a dime. And then uh, you see this 50-foot ladder, rope ladder, drop down. And he, he says, uh, um, come on up. I got 900 gold per, per uh, mushroom waiting for you up here. I think it was 900. I'll add a few more numbers onto the end. I have so many questions, but also, who wants to go first? Um, Nico just wants to check if I've... the uh, if if the trash the panda guy. made it. <laughs> yeah. uh, give me a perception check. Uh, okay. Um, you do, you, you hear it, and then shortly after you see him barreling down towards where all you're, where you're all standing. He's alive, and he's got his hands full of mushrooms, um, but there's also an entire swarm of ember bats following behind him, uh, very hungry to eat. And he's like, you're gonna have to catch me! You're gonna have to catch me? Uh, so he, the, the minecart comes to an end, flings him forward. Um, and you all start climbing up as the rope ladder gets burnt up behind you by the amber bats. Well, also on the way up, because man, you gave me so many spells, Jordan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Regina, it's like, go ahead of me, best friend. And she's, you know, gets Nico on the ladder and then she like touches her weapon. And she's gonna cast Thunderous Smite on the uh, tracks that they just left. Okay. Just because uh, that's a strength <laughs> save for the bats. Oh, um, 
they, I'm gonna say that or, they or fail. at least the tracks, you know. No, no, you ripple out, and the bats, the, the the energy from the impact ripples out, and the bats all fly backwards, um, giving you enough time to climb up uh, and out. Um, is someone grabbing just the mushrooms, or are you gonna bring up the mopok with you? Uh, uh, we're bringing him up too. I think we've we've done enough to him. All right. But um, I'm going to make sure that some somebody's gotta distract him while we get paid. Oh, I can t oh, I can go and take him outside for a nice chat. Like it'll be really good. Like he probably has a lot to learn about his behavior. It wasn't really good, so I'm definitely going to talk to him about that. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you get up to the top and you see uh the moose counting out neat piles of 1000 gold pieces e each per mushroom. Um <laughs> and he's like, "My family left me a lot of money, eh?" And he just like keeps going and starts counting out little bags for everyone. Um and I think that's where we'll have to end it for tonight. Uh, sorry, I uh, underestimated the time. But uh, <laughs> hope you all had fun. Well, I guess I won't bite the moose. I need to understand how he was smart enough to non-disclaimer us, but can't remember the what he's gonna pay us. <laughs> Bad at numbers, short-term memory. Yeah. I mean, he's probably got his. I mean, did you have a head like injury a... as a child? <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, I, several, eh? Oh. oh. Fighting, with the, fighting with the other servants. I mean, you're getting a scrap, you know? And then yeah, it's a bomb. you get in a, what's the word? Uh, a Donnybrook. And then. <laughs> anyway. All right. I, I'm going to have to cut it here. That was so humble. Thank you all so heckin' much. That was amazing because we're like almost out of time, but I, I 100% want to hear about each of you what you're up to what was tell tell us <laughs> thank you so much for this adventure jordan thank you so much everyone who played this was hilarious it's um, fantastic let's let's <laughs> i have yet to have an adventure where the dm gets to finish the entire adventure who's you know, can't imagine why everything's on fire and that's okay <laughs> Perfect. So let's go around. Please tell us who you are, where we can find you, and all the cool stuff that you're up to. We're going to start with Kelly. Hello, I'm Kelly, also known as the Opera Geek. Um, you can catch me all over the interwebs at the Opera Geek. Uh, here on Twitch, I do stream video games. Um, I'm currently doing uh, the DL blah, 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 DLCs of Shadow of War. Um, Thursdays, I'm on Sirenscape's channel in their Cyberpunk Red playthrough and sundays is stream news and then next tuesday every other tuesday we have tales by the ghost light with joshua blue and a uh, special guest next week is b dave walters and we will be talking about um the arts and how much we love them and yet how problematic they can be <laughs> extremely fair and valid uh, sam hi i'm sam you can find me on twitter at at sam Andamiel. Uh, like the Lord of the Rings character, and I am a photographer, I read tarot, but more importantly, in collaboration with Roll20, Burn Bright Against the Stars returns for a second season on Wednesday, February 24th at, I think, 5 p.m. Eastern over on Salty Sweet Games. I'll be there. Jess will be there. You should check us out. Heck yeah. And uh, the show. wonderful, amazing B Zelda secret yes. person behind behind the modding the chat right now uh we'll be there as well uh next up is brian brian thank you so much for playing yeah hi brian urban bohemian uh variety streamer video games uh chatting and food uh three days a week and then also um i am a new member of the uh, cast of rivals of waterdeep which happens every sunday at 1 p.m eastern at twitch.tv slash rivals of waterdeep uh, hope to see you there heck yeah Awesome. And Jordan, thank you so much for running this for us. I hope everyone had a good time. I'm Jordan uh, at Made of Cartoons. Uh, you can see me kicking around Jess's channel fairly often. Uh, my, I probably start up some indie stuff on Friday nights. Um, but otherwise, I work at Hit Point Press, the creators of uh, Humblewood and the Hecna setting. And also on Kickstarter right now is Hexbound, which is um, a book that we're helping um, get made. Uh, where you get it's all kinds of new stuff for witchy characters. So go check out Hexband on Kickstarter right now. You it's got a bunch of subclasses. There's a different witch subclass for every class. So you can be a fighter witch or a warlock witch or a druid witch. So 
Uh, that's really interesting. I don't know what a druid witch looks like, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and you can bug me on Twitter uh, if you have any more questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, this was Indie Showcase. We do this every uh, uh, Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all uh, a little secret that uh, next week, B, the wonderful, amazing B Zelda, check them out. Um, they uh, will be having a wonderful cast on for Ross Rifles. And if you stay after Curtain Call, you will get to see the promo poster with the cast of next week. First thing, secrets here. So, yeah, thank you also, so much. Yeah. Also, that's more Can Connie. So. Yeah. Canadian content. It's more Canadian content. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So, well, so you know, me... It. Me and B have definitely like cornered the market, both being Canadian, eh? We've we've tricked, we've weaseled our Canadian way into Roll Twenty. We're bringing you all the content, and Ross Rifles is in fact uh, a game about Canadians at World War One. So it's an interesting, interesting game. It was written by, um, I mean, I want to let them tell it to you, but basically, it was written by like a bunch of folks that work, like know their history, the like, history buffs that know about Canadian um, history, and it's really, really cool. It's a really neat game. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Come back next week. Come back uh, every Tuesday where we try and showcase different indie games every Tuesday with a different cast. Uh, you can also check me out at go underscore GG in pretty much all the places, unless they wouldn't let me take that name, and that's probably go Jess. Um, you can check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my YouTube, uh, my itch.io if you want to find weird little indie games because we we love indie games here but yeah thank you so much for being here thank you so much for hanging out thanks everyone for playing and hopefully we'll see you all soon for more games bye everyone thanks for watching eh? <laughs>